As autumn casts its long shadows, we find ourselves under a canopy of gray, the world mirroring the somber mood at Michelle Smith's gravesite. It's just Natalie and me now, the last to linger in silent homage. I should have been there more for her. Maybe we moved too fast. Her words float softly, yet they carry the weight of unspoken regrets. Without a word, I grabbed her hand and guided her to the car. She didn't ask where we were going or why. We left the cemetery in silence, our grief a heavy shroud. The drive was aimless, a desperate attempt to outrun the pain that clings tightly. We drove for hours. The city turned into country, and the country turned into mountain views. It's a stark contrast to the starkness of our emotions, a reminder of life's relentless march. We stopped at a small gas station, a place where it all began, where our stories first intertwined. Joseph, is this? Yes, right back where I first saw you. It seems right to revisit the start, doesn't it? It's like stepping back in time. Hi, I'm Joseph. Nice meeting you here again. And I'm Natalie. Seems like fate really wants us to keep coming back here. Here, amid the echoes of our past, we find a moment of peace. It's as if by returning to where we began, we can rediscover the path forward together. As the day faded, we talked, laughed, and shared memories. We talked about her mother, about our hopes, about the trials we faced, and the future we still dare to hope for. Under the stars, we made a silent vow to each other. No matter the twists and turns, we'll face them together, anchored by the memories of where we started and the dreams of where we'll go.